A local doctor is accused of sexually assaulting dozens of men. Now his alleged victims are speaking out what they have to say about the doctor charged with a number of felonies. Welcome back. I'm Mark Brown. I'm Giovanna Lotta. You're watching Eyewitness News at 5, live on ABC7, Hulu, and wherever you stream. Dr. William Thompson IV is accused of sexually assaulting the male victims under the guise of necessary medical exams. A lawsuit has been filed against Thompson and Hogue Memorial Hospital. Eyewitness News reporter Leticia Juarez with more on what the victims had to say. A wolf in sheep's clothing is how the alleged victims of Dr. William Thompson IV are describing the Newport Beach infectious disease physician. I was told that he was very friendly and that he was the best and that he cared the most. That all changed for Michael, who was listed as one of the 73 John Doe's in a lawsuit filed against Thompson and Hogue Memorial Hospital. After giving the prostate exams, would always want me to look at his private area to show me how aroused he was. Today, he and other alleged victims gathered at the law office of Manley, Stewart, and Finaldi to speak out against Dr. Thompson, who they accuse of sexually assaulting them under the guise of necessary medical exams. Over the span of a decade, Dr. Thompson is alleged to have utilized his position as a medical doctor to sexually abuse men that sought treatment from them, him. Thompson was arrested last September. The Orange County District Attorney's Office has charged him with 13 felony counts of sexual penetration by means of fraudulent representation of professional purpose, three counts of sexual battery by fraud, and two felony counts of forcible oral copulation. Dr. Thompson needs to be in jail, and Hogue Hospital had the opportunity to stop him a long time ago, and they should be held responsible too, because if they didn't, if if they would have done something sooner, I would have never been violated by him. Dr. Thompson specializes in treating members of the LGBTQ plus community, but he also treated patients outside his medical office. We know he was abusing individuals in places like the emergency room. The lawsuit accuses Hoke Hospital of ignoring complaints and failing to investigate Dr. Thompson. In a statement to Eyewitness News, Hoke Memorial Hospital condemned Dr. Thompson's alleged conduct and said Dr. Thompson operated an independent medical practice and was not employed by Hogue or its affiliates. He had clinical privileges at Hogue Hospital, which were summarily suspended by the medical staff following the filing of criminal charges against him. The California Medical Board also suspended Dr. Thompson's medical license. He's currently out on $100,000 bail. Leticia Juarez, ABC7 Eyewitness News. A man suspected